Hi everyone, this is Deborah Moore from the Cerritos College Library again, and I want to talk to you in this video about how to find articles in magazines and journals to use for your paper. So there are a couple ways to get to the databases. You can go from our home page to this research databases, and then you get the whole list. Okay, and you can pick any of them. There's a lot. You can also look at the databases by subject and then jump in that way. If you're working on psychology, you could click that and you'll see the ones that are best for psychology. Or you can go into one of the guides, the research guides, on your topic. So let's try that. Well, I'm going to go here to research guides on our home page. I'm going to search social media. And then there is a research guide about that. So I'm going to click on social media and go to the find articles tab. And here I have a shorter list of databases that the librarians are recommending for this topic. In this video, I want to only show you the databases that come from the company called EBSCO. We have a lot of databases from them. They all search the same. So I want to show those to you. And in a different video, I'm going to show you the articles from another company called ProQuest. Those are the two interfaces that you'll see the most. So I'm going to jump into Academic Search Premier, which is from the company EBSCO. And here's the opening screen. So it's important how you put your terms in. You don't want to put in a sentence or, you know, the question your teacher asks because you don't have as much control over what you get. You'll probably get something, but the company, uh, the vendor here is going to just do something with your words. So let's start small. So we're just going to do social media and see what happens. So you can see I got really a lot. I got more than 38,000. So now we want to talk about how to narrow that down. So you want to be more specific about what you want to know about. So let's say I really want to focus on bullying. I want to put in a connecting word. So I should type and bullying and hit enter. OK, now we're down to 1,200. So we got rid of a lot, but 1,200 is still quite a few. One thing you want to do is over on the left, you want to click this box next to full text so you know you're always getting the article. Okay, so now we're down to 759. Still a lot. Um, you could limit some other ways. You could add another word. So if you want to talk about bullying and maybe you even want to talk about suicide, then you want to do another and suicide. And now we're down to 75. So at this point, I would probably start reading. Because we check that full text box, they're always going to be full text. So if you see one that you like, you can go into the full text. You can either pick the HTML full text or the PDF full text. Either way, you'll get the same words. The PDF one will look just like the magazine. I'm going to go into the HTML. And so here's the article. Okay, and there's a list of references at the end. So if you like this article and you want to get it for your paper, you want to do a couple things. You want to, you could either print it out if you're somewhere where you can print, or you can email it to yourself by clicking on this link and then popping in your email address. And you can give it a subject if you want. And then when you're ready, you just hit send. The other thing you can do is ask them to help you with your citation by clicking that radio button and choosing MLA. If you don't choose MLA, you're going to get whatever's at the top there. So pick MLA, and then you could send it to yourself. The other thing you can do is get help with the citation this way, and they'll show you what the MLA citation looks like. Or if you're someone who likes to use EasyBib, you can go to Export and choose Export to Easy, direct export to EasyBib, and click Save. 
and they will and they just check with you whether you want to have the abstracts or not so I would say you don't so leave it the way it is and click import and it will stick your citation into EasyBib for you and if you have an account with them you should log in and then it'll keep them in your account okay unfortunately EasyBib has a lot of ads now so things are going to keep popping up I'm shopping for a car that's why these are here so let's go back to the academic search premier so after you've done what you want with this one you can go back to your result list and look at what else there is one thing I want to encourage you to do is when you find some articles you like it's good to look at the subject headings because sometimes you might get an idea about another word you want to try like here is cyberbullying so that's a little more precise than what we were doing so you could search cyberbullying instead of bullying and see what happens uh, this is about a particular person who committed suicide it was sort of a famous case at Rutgers you could search his name if you want to just find things about him here you can see they're talking about teenagers so if you wanted to add teenage suicide you could do that so let's just try changing our word to cyberbullying So now we have 69. So we lost some, but we might have picked up different ones too. Um, so you, I wanted to just get you used to playing around up here. Every time you change the combination of words, you're going to get a slightly different list. So you should keep experimenting until you find what you want to find. The other way you can limit articles is to say that you only want to see scholarly ones. So sometimes that will be a requirement for your class that you use scholarly or peer-reviewed journals. So if you don't want to get any popular magazines like Time Magazine or People Magazine or something, you can click this box and they'll take those out. So now we're all the way down to 26, but they should all be scholarly articles. And the way to tell that for sure is that they should all have references at the end. So let's open this one up. They open a little oddly for me, so they look a little funny. But what you want to do is when you get an article and you want to find a scholarly one, is scroll all the way to the end. And they should always have a big list of references like this. Here's the beginning. It goes on for more than a page. That's the way to absolutely make sure that you found a scholarly article. I just want to show you that you can also search other EBSCO databases. So if you go to Choose Databases, these are all the databases that we get from that company. I'm not suggesting that you should search them all because you'll just get buried in things. But maybe you want to add Social Index, which is sociology. Or maybe you want to add Psych Articles, with this, which is psychology. So you could always do that, just click next to it and say OK. And then you just have to do your search again. And now you're looking at both of those databases. So now we picked up a few more, 20, I think. So those are the basics of how to search the databases from EBSCO. All the ones that come from that company will look like this. It's just that they are searching different groups of journals. So it could be psychology or sociology or it could be looking at newspapers. It just depends on which one you pick. And again, Academic Search Premier is a great place for everyone to start. It has a little bit of everything in it and has some good scholarly journals in it too. So I'm going to stop here. There will be another video about how to search things in ProQuest, which is the other company where we get several different databases that you might want to use, including our best newspaper database. Talk to you later.